boy, that's the burn here coming one along going to do another one. Yeah, I found this one today or yesterday. Now, we all, if you don't remember this toy or never seen it, you'll be surprised. It's actually kind of cool to think about it. All right. Dang, there's a like vibrating. I, what does it say? I break highway for ghouls. Okie dokie. So, uh, by the way, slow bug, yellow. Yeah, I got my points. According to what I was reading, this is actually complete. Pretty cool, though. The steering wheel moves a little. Eh, it moves pretty nicely. Sticker still exists right there. This one is not painted for the symbol. There's back of, over the back of the Volkswagen. And then it has something inside, which I did not know was in there. See how much room we have back there. So you got the engine. That could. And, yep. and then you turn there and say, Oh my god, it's a freaking ghost. Or a monster, or... I don't know what it is. So you got that. Yeah, I didn't know this was actually attached to it. So according to what I was reading before, is that every vehicle has a monster and they're pretty hard to find which is kind of believable but luckily i've been good i've been scoring with the vehicles with this you know what? but i don't know from all the things i've been reading and seeing like there's something supposed to be attached to the back part i don't know if it's that's supposed to be like the lube or whatnot i don't know doors don't open whatsoever holds two monsters or two ghostbusters in there it's a pretty nice size. Uh, it had a little weight to it, not too too bad or anything like that. So, just in case you come across this toy and you forgot how to make this mutate, you push these buttons right here, right in the back of the vehicle. Push down, goes up, boom. And now you got your prime mantis in the back. How cool is that? I love my prime mantis. I'm gonna put the light on so you can see a little better, maybe. Hey, little guy. Like that. Very cool detail. Luckily, you know how toys they don't paint everything, but luckily they paint this one in a beautiful green color. But the Ghostbuster will still be in the back hanging out. The reason why I didn't know it was this was in there because it actually fell out when I mean, like he just took a dump and oh, there he is, you know. So. And I guarantee you this thing glows in the black light. Because look at those eyes. So put them back. Push it. And then the back wheel goes down. It clicks nicely. Now I came across a lot of these things. Like I said, a lot of them they never came with the engine ghost thing. But I came across these a few times. Especially at Frank and Sons when they overcharge everything. Arm and leg and your freaking soul. There are bastards out there, but um, yeah, they want. I saw two of these damaged, scratched up, broken, and they wanted for like 80 bucks to like a hundred dollars. And I'm like, you guys are rip off, yeah, that's right. Frank and Sons, watch out for those little idiots out there, they, they, they really piss me off. So, um, yeah, be careful with those people. Some are good, and some are, are completely jerkwads that they would just see, like, oh, I can make money off of this, even though it's broken, damaged, and scratched up. They don't think, they don't have no brain to think, like, we're not stupid, and we're not desperate to buy a broken house toy. I mean, I'm just glad some of those people over there are gone, and some of them actually probably got their butt kicked. I don't know, but they deserved it. But then again, I went to uh, Comic-Con, and they had the same toy, but it was broken. The guy wanted it for, like, five bucks, which it was as cool he lowered on the price, but I won't pay five bucks for a broken toy, because when you lift it up, you know, it doesn't pop up. It just goes back down, and the Prime Mantis is like, well, what the hell happened? So you got to be careful with that. Luckily, 52 and 80s, it's actually decent. They're very, very good with their toys. They know not to sell broken things. And they price things very well. So thank you again for that. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. It's been great. 
If you also want to go check out some other places, you know, Fighter Corners in California, they have some pretty good stuff. <coughs> they won't, won't like overprice it and they won't sell you broken toys. Um, so yeah, every time I come across this, something was always wrong or something always priced is right or price is high. <coughs> but um, yeah, thank you again. So let's uh, let me put on my little light and see if it glows. All right, I'm gonna turn this light off. Kind of in the dark. Of course, the engine falls out. Not good. Actually, yeah, his eyes. Actually, his whole torso lights up. Yeah, so it glows. So does the bug. Let me put him somewhere else. I can't really see because it's still daylight. But yeah, the whole bug glows. The yellow nicely. And of course, the green and those big pink, hot pink eyes and his mouth, too. That is super cool. So, yeah. This whole bug will glow, and I have no idea where did my engine disappear to. Hello, Mr. Engine. Where? Oh, there you are. Okay. So that's one downside about this thing. It's just the, the back of the bug does not click close. So if you walk it around with him in the back, he won't stay in. He's trying to put his back in the primates, but... Yeah, it doesn't click to lock up or anything. So that's the only downfall about this toy. And it looks like a shift. Stick shift. And there's Ghostbuster symbols in the middle. I didn't even notice that till now. I'm going to put the light on real quick. See the Ghostbuster symbol on the mats? Alright, cool. So yeah, one like I said, the only thing that's a downfall is this piece right here. So if you're walking around, you know, it's going to come right out. And if you try to turn him into a Prime Mantis, he will poop this out. Which is, I'm thinking that's what's the whole purpose behind this. To make it look like you pooped out of the engine? I don't know. So funny though. But yeah, uh, the whole thing glows. Prime Mantis glows as well. So this is a really cool toy. If you have nothing but, you know, a section that only lights up in black lights, this is definitely fit right into your uh, collection right there too. Alright, so that's it for now. As he falls out. I don't think I did, uh, 1987. Wow, I'm old. Made in Mexico, California pictures. Alright, guys, so that is it. Um, same thing like the other toy of the turtle ones. Uh, is this the first time you've seen this? If you had this, what, do you still have it? And if you don't, what happened to it? Um, if you've noticed anything different, because you know how toys back then, they changed colors. Um, there was a rumor, rumor, that there was a green one of these as well, and there, and there was a blue one of these as well. So, whichever you have, or if it's true or not, please send me videos and pictures of the, the Mexico version of it. It's not a bootleg, seriously, it's not a bootleg. There was one that actually had different colors. Um, and if there is a bootleg one, it probably won't look as good as this, and probably won't do as cool as this, but... You never know. So, like I said, there's always bootlegs and there's always um, Europe and Mexico's um, different colors. So, keep your eyes open. Prove me wrong that there's not existing out there. Or if there is, prove me, prove me right that there's different color of this bug. As far as right now, that is it. Um, yeah, look at him, gangster. Anyways, so that is it for now for this guy. You only hold two Ghostbusters as well. More vehicles that probably exist out there that I don't know about. And I'm pretty sure there's vehicles out there for Ghostbusters that you didn't know exist out there. As far as right now, that is it. Thank you guys so very much. You guys are awesome for keeping watching my stuff. Um, if you have a Ghostbuster fan that doesn't know what this even exists. Heck, if you have a friend who's, who loves anything that's Prime Mantis. There you go. Or collects bugs. Like I know a lot. I got some few friends who collects um, toy bugs. And I'm pretty sure they don't know anything about this. So, yeah. Share my video. Push like like this review. Just like I said, I'm here to help you guys. But I also like to show you what I found on my, for my collection. Um, did you know this even exists? Did you not know this even exists? I mean, so on and so on. So, put your comments down. Tell me what you think about this. Seriously, I want to hear it. And uh, that's it. Happy hunting, everyone. Laters.